Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Superintendent Rob Johnson again. Welcome, Superintendent. Thank you. Special day. You have all your leaders in, and it's almost school time, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know. And it's time for our leaders to get together and start making some serious plans. Now, they've been working individually, going to a lot of meetings, uh, board office, uh, going through a lot of work. But you bring them together now, all the principals and leadership from uh, administrative staff from your office. And what's the agenda for today? What are you trying to accomplish? The agenda for today is to make sure that principals have everything they need to get ready to start school. Um, there are a lot of changes that have occurred this past summer. Um, we want to make sure they're aware of those. We want to make sure that if there are any needs that they have, um, that we'll, we'll take care of those for them. And the basic uh, premise is, is to make sure we're ready for school. Yes, and it's almost here. Oh, and, uh, it's almost here. There'll be a couple of changes now. You have a, a couple of new leadership positions that uh, have come into fruition. You have a couple of principals, right? We sure do. Uh, Mr. Brian Howell is our new principal of Alternative School PLC, yeah. coming from West Lawrence High School. He's mm -hmm. going to do a great job. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Ernest Holmes, uh, principal of East Lawrence Middle School, mm -hmm. a longtime administrator. We're really excited about him. Mm -hmm. He's already met with some of his uh, faculty and mm -hmm. stakeholders, and we're just excited about both of our new principals. Mm -hmm. And a lot of uh, attention is probably given to the new testing that we discussed, um, you know, last year, yes. which was uh, it's running about two years. You actually tested uh, from two years prior. Is that the way it works? Yeah, it's actually called Georgia Milestones, and it, it will replace the CRCT and the EOCT. Mm -hmm. um, we'll now call them end of grade tests mm -hmm. for three through eight, um, and then end of course test for high school, the eight high school courses that are now EOCT. Those will begin this year. They'll be very different. Um, the rigor and the difficulty is going to be much greater, mm -hmm. but I have confidence our kids would rise to the occasion. I know our teachers are ready for that. Mm -hmm. I know our principals are ready for the challenge. Yeah. Uh, we don't know all the answers yet. They're just rolling out some of those tests. Mm -hmm. um, so we really don't know a lot about them, but we're excited about the challenge. So some things have been modified, and, and you know, uh, the, the uh, students will handle it well. I'm sure with the knowledge that you present to your leaders, they'll handle it well, but sometimes parents with the change, we'll, we'll need more information, and I know that door's open. I know we're going to try to share all we can yes. here on TV 35 to be able to explain to people, you know, as well as on a website and what have you, to, to let people know uh, because parents want to make sure that their child is progressing properly. Uh, if their children are doing well, they're, they're much more comfortable, and they're used to a certain way of, of being graded, uh, CRCT right. exactly. and what have you. And now exactly. a few things are changing, but it's all for the better because um, yes. you're, you're uh, able to evaluate the data a lot, uh, a lot more efficiently, aren't you? Absolutely. And, and we're going to be shifting from do you pass or not to how much you grow how much your student grows over a period of year mm -hmm. in different areas. That's going to be more significant than if they pass or fail. Mm -hmm. um, a student growth percentile will be something that we'll talk a lot about, right. but it'll be so much more information that parents will be able to gather from what their students have done because mm -hmm. we want our students to grow every year. Right. We want them, regardless of how high or how low they are mm -hmm. on a test, basis, uh, score basis. We want our students to grow every year, and we had significant growth um, in Lawrence County Schools, and we expect that to continue. But that will be a new focus. That will probably be the, the one thing that we'll have to talk a lot about, but uh, as opposed to pass or fail CRCT is how much did you grow mm -hmm. um, in your third grade math class mm -hmm. or in your fifth grade social studies or whatever that might be. Right, right. Well, you got a great team in here. I, I see they're all enthused, and I'm sure you're ready to start a new I'm year. I'm excited. Any schedule changes? Should everything stay the same for parents who? Yes, everything's pretty much the same. Good. And we have our open house coming up the sixth, um, and we have um, our faculty and staff will come back on the fourth. Um, we'll have a um, session out at Dubose Porter Center. We'll have a motivating speaker a motivational speaker mm -hmm. uh, come out and talk to us a little bit and it's mm -hmm. going to be uh, right along with what we're about to enter into this next year so we're excited I, i'm as excited about this year as i've been about uh, any year that's uh, the changes or or changes that everybody's going through we're not the only ones mm -hmm. um, but as uh, we talked about our mm -hmm. test results and our uh, teachers ability to help kids move to the next level and progress i'm as confident as anybody that our students will again continue to grow 
as much, if not more, than anybody in the state. Uh, most of our tests are above state average, yes. above the RESA average. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm very excited about that, and it'll continue mm-hmm. um, because we have absolutely wonderful folks and our leaders and our teachers and our pair pros and custodians and um, lunchroom folks. Everybody in our system is all working together to help our kids grow. So let's reiterate again now. The uh, teachers will report back on the 4th yes. and then open house for all schools? Yes, on the 6th we'll from, from 1 to 6. From 1 to 6. Um, and I think Northwest is doing something 3 through uh, 6 o'clock. Um, but all the others are 1 through 6 uh, at their prospective schools. They can come out. Uh, it's the time just to meet the teachers, let sure. your kids walk around sure. uh, classrooms, and then they'll have scheduled meetings, uh, PTO meetings, where they come back and spend more time with their teachers and things like that. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. Best we of luck this year. Good luck Thank with you. everything. Okay, next we have Ernest Holmes, the new principal at East Lawrence Middle School. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. I know you're excited about the position, we about are, the change. We are, we are ready to go. <laughs> ready Tell to us go. about your history a little bit and, and where you, how you moved into this position when you moved into it. Where do you come from? Well, I'm born right here in Dublin, Georgia. Um, lived here all my life. Um, went to school up at Georgia College and... Uh, Came back here as a science teacher up at uh, West Orleans High School and then traveled there from a, to assistant principal down at uh, West Orleans Middle and then down to Southwest Lawrence and mm-hmm. stayed there for a number of years. Mm-hmm. The position came available at uh, East Lawrence Middle, mm-hmm. and I felt that I would I could do a good service to the students over there in that community in Eastside, and so I went and applied for it and was selected. Wonderful, and so, Ernest. Wonderful. I know you'll do a really good job. What are some goals that you have for the East Side for your school you're taking over? Main thing is we want to go ahead and be an inviting place for the community. We also want to go ahead and really focus on student achievement. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got a lot of room to grow as far as student achievement, and we're going to work on that strongly. Mm-hmm. What would you say to parents who are bringing their kids in this year, maybe who already have them or just joining the school, just moving up to that level? Uh, what would you uh, say to them as far as inviting them in, as far as cooperation, as far as goals that you have that you would like to include them on? Uh, I would say when you come to East Lawrence Middle, get to know your teachers. Uh, your teachers are your, uh, is your greatest resource. Uh, come in, stop by, and speak with me, and I can go ahead and talk about the new testing procedures and where we are going uh, with testing and student achievement this year at East Lawrence Middle. But definitely get to know your teachers. They are going to be a wealth of resource for you. Mm-hmm. And you'll be available, of course, anytime, but especially at the open house coming up on the 6th, Yes, right? I'll be available. I'll be walking through the school. Stop by. Talk to me. I'll be all through the hallways, so just come by and see me. Oh, Ernest, everyone will recognize you now. Okay, Best all of right. luck to you. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.